Hi friends and family, Miss Diana here, back with another read aloud story accompanied by music. Today's story celebrates Jazz Appreciation Month, and I'll be reading out loud Trombone Shorty, story by Troy Trombone Shorty Andrews. And the song that you'll hear in the background is one of his recordings called Where Yet? Let's begin. Where yet? Where yet? We have our own way of living down here in New Orleans and our own way of talking too. And that's what we like to say when we want to tell a friend hello. So, where yet? Lots of kids have nicknames, but I want to tell you the story of how I got mine. Just like when you listen to your favorite song, let's start at the beginning, because this story is about music. Before you understand how much music means to me, you have to know how important it is to my hometown, my greatest inspiration. I grew up in a neighborhood in New Orleans called Treme. Any time of day or night, you could hear music floating in the air, and there was music in my house, too. My big brother James played the trumpet so loud, you could hear him halfway across town. He was the leader of his own band, and my friends and I would pretend to be in the band, too. Follow me, James would say. I love the brass bands with their own trumpets, trombones, saxophones, and the biggest brass instrument of them all, the tuba. Where yet? Where yet? The musicians would call. All day long, I could see brass bands parade by my house while my neighbors danced along. I loved these parades during Mardi Gras because they made everyone forget about their troubles for a little while. People didn't have a lot of money in Chile, but we always had a lot of music. I listened to all these sounds and mixed them together, just like how we make our food. We take one big pot and throw in sausage, crab, shrimp, chicken, vegetables, rice, whatever's in the kitchen, and stir it all together and let it cook. When it's done, it's the most delicious taste you've ever tried. We call it gumbo, and that's what I wanted my music to sound like. Different styles combined to create my own musical gumbo. But first, I needed an instrument. The great thing about music is that you don't even need a real instrument to play, so my friends and I decided to make our own. Then one day, I found a broken trombone that looked too beaten up to make music anymore. It didn't sound perfect, but finally, with a real instrument in my hand, I was ready to play. The next time the parade went by my house, I grabbed that trombone and headed out into the street. My brother noticed me playing along and smiled proudly. Trombone Shorty, he called out, because the instrument was twice my size. Where yet? From that day on, everyone called me Trombone Shorty. I took that trombone everywhere, and I never stopped playing. I listened to my brother play songs over and over, and I taught myself those songs too. I practiced day and night. Sometimes I fell asleep with my trombone in my hand. That was part one of our story, Trombone Shorty. Be back again soon with part two.